Hi, this is the Minimate Master, and I'm excited because I just got my first Marvel Universe action figure, Thor. Now, I, I had seen some reviews on uh, the Marvel Universe figures, um, and they looked pretty good. So, uh, they were at uh, the Target by my house, and, um, you know, I was like, yeah, what the heck, I'll pick them up, because they're small. Um, just take an example here. Um... Uh, I mean, not a whole lot bigger than, you know, the Mini Mates, maybe two inches, or maybe the, maybe they're like four or five inches tall or something, but uh, they're small and they look good, and, um, you know, I was excited to uh, get this guy, um, but before we can take a look at this guy, let's take a look at the packaging. Um, what we got is a nice picture of Thor up at the top, um, Marvel Universe, that sort of thing. Um, we got the hammer logo there, um, paint nice clear window of Thor, it says Thor up there, but it's kind of hard to read, um, very nice packaging, I like it, it's very original, it's like, you know, boxy, and then it kind of swoops down there, and I don't know, looks pretty cool, um, on, on the back, you have a picture of the figure, Marvel Universe in the background, picture of Thor, um, it's got a read up, um, uh, it's got the other characters, some other characters, you got Iron Man, Captain America, and Luke Cage, a picture of Norman Osborn down there, become an agent of Hammer, at blah blah blah, the logo again, um, but the read-up, I uh, will read it, says, when Thor returned from the darkness of Ragnarok, he found a world far different from the one he'd left behind, he therefore resolved to concern himself more with Asgard and its people than with the problems of humanity. Even so, the closeness he felt with the mortals of Earth led him to bring his kingdom to the mortal realm so that he, his fellow gods might learn what it was like to live among them. Cool. So, oh, um, one more thing, as you can see. Down there at the bottom, uh, Series 2, Figure 12. Just a little second. Anyway, there is Thor. Packaging. Let's open this up and look at the figure. Stay tuned. Well, are you ready? Bam. There he is. The God of Thunder himself, Thor. Um, now, this is more of a Thor Reborn sort of look. Um, but, I mean, it, it is super nice. I mean, I like this guy a lot. I mean, I just saw him in the packaging. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But, I mean, I take him out and I'm like, bam, you know, that's a good likeness to the comic book character. In fact, I'll show you how good... That's a picture of Thor on the cover of Hulk number five. Um, you know, almost everything is spot on to that resemblance. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I mean, up close, uh, he, he's really, really nice. I mean, it's like, uh, the tunic part of it is a uh, nice blue highlighted with dark blue or and black. Uh, give it some good depth. Um, pretty nice uh, painting, you know, as far as the little details go. Not too sloppy. Um, you know, nice silver stands out nicely. Um, he's got the chainmail on his arms, pretty much a solid silver, um, but it's got the texture. Uh, hands are nicely detailed. Um, can rotate those. Um, you know, thighs, um, knee you know, ankle, um, nice detailing on the boots, boots have a really nice sculpt, um, uh, he's got the nice cape, um, looks, uh, like a dark red, dirty red sort of brown, um, you know, highlighted with some darker and lighter colors in there, gives a real nice, uh, texture, um, and it's a soft plastic, so you can, uh, bend it, you know, mold it, so you don't have to worry about breaking it off or anything, um, Hair is nice, um, pretty decent sculpt, uh, it's got some dark and light colors in there, some highlights, um, the face, um, is alright, I mean, it does kind of have likeness to the comic book character, but I mean, it's not very, uh, realistic, I guess, um, you know, but I mean, yeah, the helmet looks good, um, the wings, I thought these, I mean, I was surprised when these, uh, wings on the top here were, uh, you know, flexible, I wasn't expecting them to be like that. Um, but yeah, as far as articulation goes, uh, 
you can move the head up and down a little bit, uh, left to right. Uh, it's got a ball jointed shoulder, uh, swivel the bicep, uh, one point at the elbow, and you can rotate the hand. Um, he's got uh, upper chest rotation, um, which is kind of difficult to access, but you know, like that. Um, you can rotate the waist, uh, move the leg up and down, or back and forth, uh, out, um, rotate the thigh, um, two-point knee articulation, and ankle rotation, and uh, yeah, no, just rotation. Um, as far as his accessories go, comes with a stand. Uh, so it has a print of Marvel. You can see right there in the light. Um, and it has Thor number 12 on it. Um, so you don't mix your stands up. Um, and you can just peg his feet in to those pegs. And, you know, so he stands and it's good for displaying. Um, and he comes with another accessory. What would Thor be without his mighty, mighty Mjolnir? Um, and that just pops into this hand, the one with the open. Um, with the opened fist. Kind of, kind of difficult to get in, but there it is. And you have Thor holding his hammer. I mean, I, I just love the heck out of this figure. This guy awesome like Thor has always been one of my favorite characters but I mean this figure uh, truly rep represents him well and uh, you know the amount of detail articulation you know everything on it is um, is just great um, I like this figure a lot uh, before I get uh, you know before I end this uh, also I don't know why I forgot about this but um the box comes with uh, one of these top secret files Things. And it's got some stuff in here. It's got like a fake letter to Mr. Stark. And then uh, you know, written back by Norman Osborn. Um, you know, code to the website or whatever. And a uh, nice Thor card. And um, in the back it's got stats. And it's a registration act form or whatever. But anyway, that uh, wraps up Thor. Um, hopefully I'll do another one of these soon. Um, but like always, this is the Mini Mate Master and I will see you next time. Peace.